Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Okay, let's read this question together. So it is given that k is a positive integer not exceeding 99, so at most two digits. Okay, so 99 and below. There are no positive integers x and y okay? such that x square minus k y square is 8. So no x and y. Okay, no positive integer x and y that satisfy this x square minus k y square is equal to 8. So the question asks, so that means that there are possible value of k's, right? That satisfy this. So the question asks, what is the difference between the maximum value of k and the minimum value of k? Okay, so how to solve this number theory question? Okay, suppose, okay, suppose my k is divisible by 3. Okay, so that means it's congruent to 0 mod 3. Suppose it's divisible by 3. Notice that any numbers, right, since any, any integer, any integer a, any square, right, a square, will always congruent to 0 or 1 modulo 3. Another way of saying any square number divided by 3, the remainder can only be 0 or 1 cannot be 2 okay so that means that x square minus k y square is congruent to x square right? it's a perfect square we said it can only end up with either 0 or 1 right we are dealing with modulo 3 minus k we already assume that it's congruent to 0 so 0 multiplied by y square will always be 0 okay so of course that is still a congruent to 0 or 1 but notice that since 8 divided by 3 remainder is 2 all right so it can never be equal correct see so what does that mean it's not equal right so no such no such x y of course positive integer such that x square minus k y square is equal to 8 so it satisfy the condition right the condition say no such positive integer x y so that means that the multiples of 3 is the possible candidates for k okay i'm not saying that all possible value of k must be multiples of 3 i'm saying that all multiples of 3 can be k okay so but then the largest k it can be is 99, right? So we already know that the maximum k, 99 is a multiple of 3. And we just said, right? Multiples of 3 can be k. So maximum of k is 99. But I'm not saying the minimum is 3 yet, okay? Because I still need to check 1 and 2. So when k is equal to 1, or another way of asking you a question would be, can k be 1? Okay. x square minus k y square is 8. Is there such x and y? Notice that can, right? 3 square minus 1 times 1 square. If this is x, okay, this is y. Notice that there is such x and y when k is 1. All right, this is 8. So that means that k cannot be 1. Okay, I repeat because k is a number such that no x and y. Okay. If k is 2, it does such square here yeah, to get equal to 8 or so. Notice this 4 square is 16, right? Minus 2 times 2 square. So this, if this is x, this is y. See, there is also such x, y, whereby this value is equal to 8. So that means that k cannot be 2 as well. Okay? So k cannot be 1, k cannot be 2, and we just say all multiples of 3 can be k. So that means that minimum of k is 3. Okay, so the question asks, hence, the difference between the maximum and the minimum, right? So maximum of k minus the minimum of k 
to equal to 99 minus 3, so the answer would be the difference is 96. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye, and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.